Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, September 18th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Why get two when you can get three? Those words came directly from reigning and defending men's physique champ Ray Edmonds. So in case you had any questions about where his mindset was heading into his first title defense, I think that statement should pretty much sum it all up. On this show, we've talked a lot about mindset and what it means to be a champion. And hearing that statement from Ray really encapsulates what we mean. Champions don't have a plan B. They don't think about losing. It's not in their vocabulary. And at the end of the day, that self-belief is the thing that separates them from the pack. Now on the flip side of that, when you're entering into a situation as a challenger trying to unseat the incumbent, you need to wake up every day with irrational confidence. Because if your mindset isn't completely focused on doing everything in your power to do what no one else in the world believes is possible, you're ultimately going to come up short. So in this case, you can't blame Andre Ferguson for thinking that winning the title this year is already a done deal. Outside of Ray Edmonds, you can make a pretty convincing argument that Andre's been the most dominant athlete in this division for the better part of the last few years. And since he already has the championship mindset working in his favor, the only thing left to do now is win the Olympia. I take a lot of pride in being a man of my word. When I tell people I'm going to do something, I deliver. Because building trust and keeping my promise is something that I place a lot of personal emphasis on. So when I hear William Bonac say that he promises to improve specific body parts heading into this year's Olympia, my natural inclination is to take him at face value. With everything that's happened over the last six months, it almost is like William's managed to fly under the radar, which seems like it should be even possible considering that he's the second best bodybuilder on the planet. But between COVID and Flex and the return of Phil, there's been essentially zero conversation about William being a serious title contender this year. But then again, maybe that's how he wants it. And maybe he'll show up and do exactly what he said he was going to do. And maybe a new and improved William Bonac will find himself as the last man standing when it's all said and done. I know Dallas Cowboy fans are still sick to their stomachs after watching that terrible week one performance against the Rams. But the good news is that your division sucks and Steve Kukla is back in the mix, so at least you guys have that going for you. Earlier this week, Steve released a video from a shoulder workout where we saw him hoist up a pair of gigantic 160 pound dumbbells and knock out a few clean reps. By all accounts, Steve's training has been spot on the last few months and he's in a great place both mentally and physically. And just like we've seen so many times in the past when Steve's completely dialed in, He's as good as anyone in bodybuilding, so I still wouldn't rule out possibly making another late season run. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.